Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about waves on a string. Example, guitar, violin. Some objects produce sounds when they move. For example, when we pluck a string on a guitar or violin, it produces sound. Here is a representation of a guitar. As a guitar strings vibrates, it sends surrounding air molecules into vibrational motion. The movement of a string is called vibration. When objects vibrate, they produce sound. The guitar and the violin are just two types of string instrument. When one of the strings is plucked in the middle, it creates train of waves set up by a vibrating body and reflected at the end of the string. Newly generated waves will interfere with the old reflected waves. Guitar string representation is shown here. The guitar comprises of six strings. With the help of these strings, the sounds are produced. Here is a representation of the animation of the guitar strings. Standing waves. When two identical waves having equal wavelength, velocity and the amplitude travel in opposite directions, they superimpose on each other forming stationary wave. It is called a standing wave because it does not appear to be traveling. Standing waves representation is shown here. In this diagram, we are seeing blue color wave is moving in the left hand side and green color wave is moving in the right hand side. The red color wave is the summation of these two waves. And this is the representation of the standing waves. In a standing wave, the nodes are the points of destructive interference that is not vibrate and occur every half the wavelength. And nodes are the points of constructive interference where the standing wave has maximum amplitude. Anti nodes are present roughly midway between the nodes. The nodes and the anti nodes remain in fixed positions for a particular frequency. A stretched string has many nodes of vibration. If the conditions are right, then a standing wave pattern will be created with nodes N and antinodes A. Frequency of the standing wave. The simplest way the string can vibrate is with just one segment. Then its length capital L is then equal to one half of the wavelength lambda of the vibrations produced. Then we have capital L is equal to one into lambda by two that is equal to lambda by two for one segment. One segment produces a sound of the lowest possible frequency called the fundamental frequency or first harmonic F1. The other natural frequencies are called overtones. When the string vibrates in two segments, it has a node at each end and the middle where the wavelength is produced is then equal to the length of the string. Then we have L is equal to 2 into lambda by 2 that is equal to lambda for two segments. The frequency F2 of this second harmonic or the first overtone must be twice the frequency of the fundamental frequency. It may also vibrate in larger number of segments. In every case, the length of the string is some integer multiple of half wavelengths. Thus, for the third and fourth harmonics, L is equal to 3 lambda by 2 and L is equal to 2 lambda respectively and so on.
in general we can write l is equal to n lambda b2 for n segments where n is equal to 1 2 3 and it goes on the integer labels the number of harmonic n is equal to 1 for the fundamental n is equal to 2 for the second harmonic and so on we solve for lambda and find lambda is equal to 2l by n to find the frequency of each vibration we use f is equal to v by lambda because it is in the equation 3 where v is the velocity of the wave using equation 1 and 2 we have frequency f is equal to n v by 2 n consider this is equation 4 or f is equal to n into f1 where f1 is equal to v by 2 n is the fundamental frequency we see that each resonant frequency is an integer multiple of the fundamental frequency both the tension t and the mass per unit length mu affect the velocity of the standing waves on the string as follows v is equal to square root of t by mu hence we have f is equal to n by 2l into square root of t by mu consider this is equation 5 since t is equal to m into g we can write the equation 5 as f is equal to n by 2l square root of mg by u. Consider this equation 6 where m is equal to mass mu is the mass per unit length and g the acceleration due to gravity. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends. Thank you.